Hey there guys, it's Suns Geek here, and we have a very special video for you guys today. I'm joined by my good friend Thunder Steve85, and it's pretty plain and simple. If you guys can't tell by the title of this video, this is our NBA 2K collection. We are making this video to simply celebrate our love and passion for NBA 2K. Now, this video isn't to like compare collections, it's just for the fun of collecting, being hardcore 2k gamers and everything and we just want to show you guys some cool stuff that we own and we're going to talk about it here in a minute but steve i know for a fact that you've been playing nba 2k for years i myself have been playing for as long as i possibly can remember so steve if you want to introduce yourself tell the people how long you've been playing 2k maybe a fun memory or something like that okay what's up guys <laughs> my name is steve zimmerman I tag is Thunder Steve 85. You can find me on YouTube at Thunder Steve 85 Gaming and everywhere else on social media as Thunder Steve 85. So, guys, I've been playing NBA 2K since its debut. So, not since 2K, but actually since 1999 when it came out on the Sega Dreamcast. It was actually a launch title. And the Dreamcast came out on. For some reason, I'll never forget this date, but the release date was nine nine ninety nine. That's awesome. And <laughs> of course, I'm wearing my my damn Marley jersey, which you guys can see is, of course, number nine. So that's the thing, man. Is I'll never forget playing 2K for the first time, and how great the graphics were. Because at the time, Dreamcast was the the newest console, or as we used to call it back in the day, system. It was yep. the newest system on the block, <laughs> and you know the the graphics on Dreamcast were out of this world. They really were. I mean, there were so many games that looked so much better on the Dreamcast. You could even look at games like NFL Blitz that came out on PlayStation and 64. But if you had the Dreamcast version, that baby was going to run just as good as the arcade. So it was really awesome to play 2K. Back in 99, even the NFL 2K yep. was, in my opinion, leaps and bounds better than Madden. <laughs> but they lost that license, unfortunately, to EA Sports. But yeah, I've been playing 2K my whole life, man. 25 yep. years. It's 25th anniversary this year. So it's pretty cool. So how long have you been playing 2K, Brandon? So I've been playing NBA 2K for as long as I can remember, man. You know, I remember the original cover that had my boy one of my all-time favorite players alan iverson on the cover i think he made like three of those if i remember correctly yeah. but i just remember playing the 2k games throughout the years on different systems and whatever you want to call it consoles or systems yeah. but it was just different than at the time than their competitor nba live and then i just eventually became hooked on these games and i am excited to go over our collection because I have a lot of stuff to show. I know you got a lot of stuff to show. Yeah. And you and I, we own different things, and that's great. That's what we're celebrating. Yeah. And I'm just so excited to work on this with you, and it's going to be a great video. And we hope that you guys will enjoy this video. So I'm really excited, man. So am I. Let's get going. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we're going to be pretty much going back and forth. And I'm going to start off actually with two games. Now, this was for the original Xbox and I will show them to you as close in detail as I can. Now, this first one that I own is actually ESPN NBA 2K, and it has one of my all-time favorite players on it, Ben Wallace. <laughs> that is right, you guys. Beautiful cover. Love how it's got the little autograph signature right there. The number one rated NBA game. And unfortunately, Steve, I'm sure we're going to talk about this later, but you can see the damn sticker on there. Damn stickers, I hate the man. stickers. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt just real quick. When we originally recorded this video, I completely forgot to show off this ESPN NBA 2K5 strategy guide. Look how beautiful and classic this is. I'm so glad I own this. This was right in front of me when we were recording, and I just completely forgot to show it off. But yeah, this thing has everything in it. I mean, look at that. Like a young LeBron right there, a young Melo. They got like ratings and standings and playbooks. And I mean, look at this thing, man. I could, I could make a whole video about this alone. But yeah, this thing's awesome. And now, back to the video. But I also got, also on the Xbox, with Shaquille O'Neal on it, 
NBA 2K6. I love these games, man. Classic. Yeah, that was like the bit. I was like the biggest <laughs> offseason move right there was Miami getting Shaq. That's that's how he landed on the cover at that age on 2K. Yep. <laughs> Those what are do you classic, got for me, man? Though. What do you got? <laughs> so a lot of my 2K games, guys, I got to say, I don't know if I if I traded the man when I was younger or what happened to him. But I was talking to Brandon before this, and I think kind of what happens over the years is when you know you're going to buy 2K every year, last year's edition just gets thrown to the side in a sense. It gets put somewhere, right? And sometimes you don't know where that is. But with that said, I'll start off with the oldest one that I still have for physical, and that is NBA 2K14. Beautiful. Which, again, this was... Now, LeBron, do you remember what year he went to Miami? 2011? Was it? Yeah. I think this... I think 2014 was the year they played the Spurs. Yes. And the finals. that was when um you know Ray oh. Allen hit that clutch shot, I believe. Yeah, either one that of the or best 15. finals. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, and of course I got a damn sticker on the back too. Yep. Oh god. We're gonna go on I'm... a rant about that in a minute. Let me tell you. <laughs> I get so sick of these stupid stickers. What's the point? Like, why why do you put this on here? You know what I mean? I know you've talked about that so much in your videos, man. And whenever it's my turn next, I have so many stickers, you're gonna hate it. <laughs> All right, I'll go with my next one here, and I'll hand it back to you. This yep. is NBA 2K15 with what was then future, now yep. future Phoenix mm -hmm. Dunn, Kevin Durant, <laughs> Kevin Durant, KD, the Durantula, the <laughs> Slim Reaper. And 2K15 was actually really awesome. Yep. If I recall, this was a very good 2K. And at the time, the new gen, because that your last one was PS3, that one's PS4. So at the oh, time, that was the newest console right. or system. Yeah. You know? Look at that! I just opened it up. Honestly, I have not opened this up in years. <laughs> Still got the receipt in there. That's Look at awesome. that. Be oh Best Buy <laughs> store great. pickup. Best Buy pickup at uh, probably at Paradise Valley, which yep. is not even there anymore. That Best <laughs> Buy is now Paradise closed. Valley Mall. <laughs> Yeah, Those are my stomping grounds, man. <laughs> I, I used to work at that Best Buy. I got fond <laughs> memories of that place. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to kind of, uh, I feel like these ones kind of belong together, sort of in their own category, because it did close out the decade. But unfortunately, we do got to go on a little sticker rant. So I got NBA 2K7. Unfortunately, I bought it pre owned because I was trying to build the collection, you know. And yes, it does have Shaq on there. But damn, man, look at that sticker, bro. Pre-owned sticker, it's gross. I mean, beyond that, I know it's kind of hard to tell just on the camera, but it is in good condition, but it's that dang sticker. And if I try to take it off, you know, it's going to look bad. And I told you there was a couple stickers that I did get off, but there was another sticker that was already there. So next up on the collection is future Phoenix Sun, now former Phoenix Sun, Chris Paul on NBA 2K8 oh, wow. for the Xbox 360. Um, and yeah, the last one was 360 as well. What was and the price on that? This one was a dollar. I actually bought it with the pro member price, a dollar seventy nine. I bought. Oh my god, used. dude, that is a steal. <laughs> yeah, that's why I bought these, man. Like, yeah, like I want to get the best copies I possibly can. But look For at sure. that price, y'all. That's not a joke. Look at that. You can't beat that. <laughs> that's why I bought it. I saw them there, and I just grabbed it, man. <laughs> like we we know that sports titles obviously go down in price dramatically when they become like last year's or two years, you know, three, four, whatever. But I don't recall seeing two K's that inexpensive. Yeah. I would have picked them up too at that price. Exactly. In a heartbeat. And again, like I know they're pre-used, but still they're in good condition. I've kept yeah. them as good in condition as I can throughout the years. That's but right. it's just those dang stickers. So Continuing on, this one I actually did get off for the most part in terms of the sticker. But then look, oh yeah, there was, oh, oh, yeah, right. I don't even know where I'm pointing. There's another sticker right there that was previously on there. 
But I do like this cover of Kevin Garnett, one of the greatest power forwards of all time. Again, this was another pre-owned game. And you can kind of tell the graphics, you know, upgrade a little bit. Yeah. Kind of tell they really are starting to get familiar with their graphics and get better. And then to close out the decade, and I'm sure we're going to talk about this player later. Again, the dang sticker, though. RIP to Kobe Bryant. Yeah. 2K10, that beautiful cover on the 360. And I, and I could be wrong here. Wasn't this sort of around the time they started introducing new consoles and my career mode and all that? Like, I think, I don't know if this game had my career. Like, it's got NBA Today, my player mode. That's when they called it that. Living yeah. rosters and signature play. This was when 2K really started to change. That's right. Yeah, yep. and you know what? It looks like my career was originally introduced in 2K10. Yep. That's what I was so saying. Like, I was like, wait, when did 2K like actually introduce that mode? Yeah. They called it my player mode back then. Yeah. That's, yeah. This is when 2K really started to take off, in my opinion. Yeah. They really took it to the next level there and made it more than a basketball game. When you got Kobe on the to. cover, yeah. When you got Kobe on the cover, you kind of have to. Yeah, that's right. What's up with uh, you next, Steve? What, what do you got for me? All right, guys. <laughs> next up, this is definitely one of my favorite covers for sure. And you guys should know why, but. Beautiful. The GOAT. 2K16. Love this cover. Love it. And I haven't opened this up in a long time either. <laughs> but all the inserts in there. This is we got a. This is an actual sticker. Yep. This is a fat head. Got the MJ special edition. Got the code there. Looks like uh, unfortunately this expired in June of 2016. The first one to get it gets it. <laughs> you guys are welcome to try yep, and use it try. though. Maybe there it, it is. You can. You can pause the video right yep. here and see if it works. Uh, oh, dude. I what didn't even realize this. I got a poster. Let's go. I'm going to full screen you real quick. Hold on. We're going to we're gonna full screen yeah. you. Yeah. Go for it. All right. Check this out. That's so I'm cool, dude. I'm actually kind of here. jealous, to be honest. <laughs> and guys, I'm not kidding when I say that, like, when the next 2K comes out, the game gets closed up and put away. Yep. So I totally... Do not recall there being a poster in here. Otherwise, I'll be honest with you, I would have hung it up. And For I real. think I will now. Look you see, that. 2K fans, this is the kind of stuff you used to get in the games. And this is another reason I wanted to do this video. That's sick. Dude, that's so cool. That is really cool. I wonder if anyone sells this on eBay. Probably. I'm not going to sell it, but out of curiosity, because, <laughs> you know, people sell everything. Yep. On Dude, eBay. That's so cool, man. Now, guys, Brandon and I talked about this before as well. Some of these games we bought digitally, so unfortunately, <laughs> yep. nothing to show off. And and again, like I always say on my on my channel, that's why you buy physical. So you can have the game still. Yep. If you buy digital, it's just not the same, man. But this is one of my favorite ones right here. This is the I got a full Mamba screen this Forever one too, man. Edition. I have to, we, we just have to full screen this one. Mamba Forever in the nice steel book. Beautiful. And I'll go ahead and open it up. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, pop the disc out and you can see. Mamba Forever. The, get a good look there without any glare. That's so cool, man. Yeah, it's very nice steel book. Honestly, I remember when this got announced and I saw it. I'm like, dude, that's some sick artwork. For real. Like it's it's base it's obviously it's not painted. It's not a painted steel book. Right. Individually, but it's a painted photo on the steel book and it's very cool. So I appreciate this one a lot. This is one that I'll always keep in super super minty condition right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. And again, like that's another reason I'm glad we're doing this video because you own stuff that I don't have and vice versa. And that's yeah. why we call it a collection. Got the goat on the cover, NBA 2K11. Perfectly, I mean, not perfect condition, but great condition. And yes, no stickers. 
Can you believe that, Steve? No Thanks, stickers Paul. on this one. I need to get this like in a safe frame or something, man. Yeah, you know the only I mean? <laughs> the only sticker that matters, which is that beautiful this one <laughs> hologram yep. NBA sticker mm -hmm. that we all love. <laughs> I'm so glad I have this with no stickers on it, man. And, you know, 2K11, guys, if you don't know, like, this was a huge deal because this was the first time that Jordan was on the cover yep. of a basketball game. And you're probably saying, what's how? Yep. And the reason why is because he was always tied up in licensing. Always. You could never get the rights to Jordan for anything. Even back with NBA Live back in the day. Yep. Mm -hmm. He wasn't on there. He wasn't in NBA Jam. He had his own Super Nintendo video game, Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. I know was, you know that too. That, that was made by <laughs> EA, which is odd because they had NBA Live, but he wasn't allowed to be in the basketball game, which was super annoying. Yep. But this was a huge, huge deal for Jordan to be in the actual game. And that's that's when it all changed right there. Exactly. So thankful we get Jordan now. And speaking of Jordan, now this kind of might seem like it's becoming a common, you know, trend. You know, first we had, and this is the reason I'm bringing it up, because now we got like the Kobe moments and all of that. But this, I believe, was the start of the Jordan challenge, which now yeah. is like Kobe. And I'm sure we're going to get players later on in the decade. But yeah, Jordan challenge. Relive 10 legendary games from Michael Jordan's career. It's awesome, and there's all those other game modes on there. And again, this was another version of the deeper My Player mode. They didn't call it My Career yeah. back then. It was My Player mode. That was huge, it, too. Those yep. Jordan challenges were like, they were special. I remember seeing the trailer for it before it came yep. out and being like, dude, this looks so real. You know? we, we had never seen anything like this either. Like we can go back and play those Jordan games, like the flu game and all those other games. Yeah, it was special. And speaking of Michael Jordan, before we get to your next batch there, Steve, he was also on the cover of 2K12. Yes. Yep. And I believe they brought back, did they bring back more Jordan moments? I'm sure it's probably in here somewhere, but they have a list of features and all that. He's on the cover again. Unfortunately, there's no sticker on the front, which is good, but there is a sticker pre-owned. I don't remember how much I paid for this. Glad I have a couple of the games with Michael Jordan on the cover. Beautiful. I enjoyed my time playing 2K on 360. I believe the majority of 2K I played for 360 yep. during that console era. Yep. And it was great. And the online worked great. And dude, and I was just glued to my screen. Just nonstop 2K, man. Yeah. Yep. What do you got for me next? All right, guys. So before I go back to the PlayStation, I'm going to go to the Nintendo Switch. And, you know, it was obviously the, a big draw, I think, for all of us to be able to play NBA 2K on the go. Like, that's a draw with so many Nintendo Switch games, clearly. But to be able to play 2K anywhere. And anywhere that has internet, you can play online. Like, there's just such a draw with that. So, of course, I had to get it for Switch, try it out, and see how it is. The first one is 2K19. And I'm not a fan of this cover at all. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I, I will say this. I'm especially not a fan of this. Right. Yeah, every, I, I, that's one thing I noticed right away. Every just, Switch owner hates this. They hate it. They actually won't buy games. Yep. Nintendo mm -hmm. Switch collectors will not buy games if this bullshit is on the box. Mm -hmm. I hate it. It looks like trash. It's just as bad or worse than a sticker. Yeah. You know I think I'd saying? rather prefer the sticker in the corner as much as I'm trashing the stickers. You know I what I mean? Too. So that big thing in there just, you know, standing out in front of the cover. Yeah, there's not much in the box, guys. You know, you got the uh yep. got that. You got some bonus content yep. again. Uh what? this expired in 2019. Feel free to <laughs> try, try it. Yep, try it anyways. R real quick, Steve. I mean, because I'm not gonna lie, I've never played that. I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Do you yeah. do you have any memories of that? Did you enjoy the gameplay? Like, I know it was a long time ago, but like, what do you remember from that? 
for Nintendo Switch? Yeah, for Nintendo Switch. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can tell you about it. Uh, right off the bat, the game runs at 30 frames per second. So it runs at half the frame rate of current gen, PS4 or PS5. So previous gen and next gen, however you want to look at it, it runs at half the frame rate. Right. That's unfortunate. But obviously, yeah, you have to give up some things to get some things. So you get 30 frames per second, but now you can play it on the go, right? So there's pros and cons to everything, obviously. I definitely more prefer the gameplay on PlayStation or Xbox on the next-gen consoles, no doubt about it. I did buy another edition, which is right here, of 2K. Without that sticker or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know? well, yeah, it's down there now. It looks oh, like. yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Not as noticeable, though. Much better, though. Yep. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, I we both had to endure two years of Lakers being on yep. the cover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes that. I'm glad you addressed that. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. So these ones will never be shown off. They'll sit on the shelf, <laughs> but they'll never be prominently displayed right. because... Is there you, know, you got their the LA lacquers here? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah, the Switch version performance wise, it's it's the worst, without a doubt. But you can play it portably. So here's the hope, right? The hope is that with the Switch 2, which will be coming out next year, still waiting on some details, of course, on that to be officially announced. But from what I've gathered, it's going to be very similar to the current Switch. They're still going to have it portable. So we're going to have the opportunity, is my point, to be able to play 2K on next-gen Switch hardware where we won't have to make those sacrifices. We'll be able to play at 60 frames on the go. Exactly. So I will most likely be returning at some point to Nintendo Switch, especially since 2K introduced crossplay yep. this year. <clears throat> exactly. So I'll be able to play against anyone. I won't have to, you know, try and find an online match on the Switch, yep. which was kind of hard. Right. It's kind of hard compared to PlayStation. I'm just glad you have those in your collection too. Like even though they have the Laker players on the cover, it's still cool that you have that in your collection. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. That's, cool. That's I'll awesome. Always keep man. them around. Yep. So guys, I made a small mistake. I thought that we were done with the 360 2k era but you know what i actually have i i technically only have two physical games here but you and i were talking backstage steve for some reason i couldn't find my copy of nba 2k 13 and then we were talking backstage and you said the same thing right yeah yeah we own it we have achievements for it on our 360 or whatever device or system you were playing on but i can't find it which leads me to NBA 2K14 <laughs> on the 360. It was weird, man. I looked everywhere, and I told you that. I, yeah. I was like, why can't I find this game? But whatever. 2K14 with LeBron, and uh, it's better on the Connect, apparently. So yeah. I don't know if that was true at all. I read that, <laughs> and the first thing I said, Brandon, just reading that, I'm like, that's bullshit. Exactly. Ain't better with Connect. <laughs> and then you showed this one off earlier, NBA 2K15 with future and current Phoenix Sun, Kevin freaking durant but yeah that closes out the xbox 360 series because eventually i upgraded to a game that you showed off earlier nba 2k 16 and uh since you already showed it off i do have to check myself i want to see if there's a poster in here oh i'm sorry i have to full screen myself i know that yeah. you already showed it off but i have to show everybody here ah, yes nice. the poster's in there i'm so glad i kept it I'm glad I didn't like give it away or sell it. It's also got the, uh, I'm sure that yours came with this as well. Got like, yeah. I, yep, that right there. And then the game add ons. That's so cool. I'm so glad I kept all this, man. And yeah, you're right. It's like a little fat head. That's so yeah. cool, man. I'm glad we, I'm glad we got the same thing. We kept all that stuff. Also, I know this is kind of random. I think that that's cool. It was like an Xbox thing in the back. Uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. That is cool. I like yeah. that. Shout out to NBA 2K16, man. I miss the days when they would give us a bunch of stuff, which we're going to go over here in a little bit, let me tell you. 
That's so cool, man. And you know, you got to remember too, is that like when it comes to that cover, that was a special edition cover. Exactly. Like that wasn't the cover athlete. You had to buy the special edition. Yep. I don't know who was on the cover of 2K16, who was on the standard edition, but that's just another reason why you keep that game is because that was a special edition cover. And to me, that's Michael Jordan memorabilia, right? Exactly. There. I could be wrong, but wasn't like game or versions like this, which nowadays is like the best version you can get at the time. Does that make sense? Like, it wasn't was. this that was the, the best, best version? Ver yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. And I'm looking it up, guys. It says 2K16 had three different cover athletes. Yep. But the main cover athlete appears to be Anthony Davis. Another wait, was he with the Lake? No, I don't think he was with nah, the Lakers at the time. He was with the Pelicans. Pelicans. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, AD street street clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh next in your collection? Because I have a few more, and then I get to the the, the other stuff. You know I got I mean? two more here, so I'll do cool. one, and then I'll hand it back to you. Cool, cool. <clears throat> So guys, this one is NBA 2K22. I got a full That's screen the you back again. Of the steel book. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can see here you got the nice oh, 75th anniversary logo. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is still factory sealed. This is the steel book. The actual game's on the shelf. Beautiful. But very nice. Factory sealed. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, that's so cool. For the 75th anniversary. And really cool that you got KD. Yep. Again, was not a Phoenix Sun yet. Yep. KD, Dirk, and Kareem, Kareem on the cover. Three of the greatest of all time right there. Yeah. And, you know, this year of 2K was pretty fun in my team. Although, I will say that it seems like the NBA forced 2K to come out with, like, a lot of different 75th anniversary stuff. Right. It really just was not very interesting to the my team community, but it felt like the NBA is like, hey, it's her 75th anniversary. We need you guys to do this. Right. Oh, well. Yeah. At I, least I it's a great saying. cover. Exactly. It's a great cover, man. All right, guys. So continuing on, I remember making little skits. Yes, skits about this game. <laughs> I don't know why, because I had nothing else to do. Uh, 2K17 with Paul George on there. You know, Xbox yeah. One and all that. He's Pandemic obviously a great. P. Yeah, exactly. Pandemic <laughs> um, P. <laughs> that was obviously when he was on the rise and everything. And, you know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But um, coming up next. And yes, I do have everything in here that I believe. Well, most of the stuff here. Another version of Shaq on the cover. I got a full screen. This one. Man. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty. Yeah. This one's a beauty right here. I have almost everything in here, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. This is the Legend Edition Gold of Shaq. Yes, he's in his Laker uniform. I don't care. This cover is beautiful, man. And it came with more stuff and everything. So first, let me just show you. And this is a little bit of a combination of 2K17. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but this actually came with cards. And if you look closely, you can see the 2K logo, like especially on the back. It shows the NBA 2K18, 2K17. There's a couple Kobe cards on there. I wonder if Kobe that's worth Inch. anything. Exa yep. And I tried to keep them as safe as I possibly could, man. Um, yeah, because that's I, got the Panini licensing on it. Exactly. These cards are awesome. I'll try to get a further out look. I don't know if you guys can see that all the way. These cards are awesome. I don't know why, but I, I chose to put this one in its own kind of special case. I just think it looks cool. Kobe guarding Kobe. Oh, if you look closely, it's got, the, I know it's kind of blurry, but you can see the 2K17 logo there. There Beautiful. it is. I put that yeah. in a special case. This card's awesome. I, I had to, man. You know what I mean? I would too. That's a, that is a sick card. Exactly. I like but, that. But real quick, we'll just kind of, because again, we got more games and all that to talk about, but we'll just kind of go through this as fast as we possibly can. So you open this up. I think these are stickers right here. This was when there was like two covers because I think you could buy this cover right here, I believe. And that was when he was with the Heat. Uh, that's cool. I think that's like a sticker right there. 
And then I think this one came with a poster too, man. I'm starting to get excited here. It's like Christmas. <laughs> right. Um, so, you know, you get the game, obviously, but it came with this badass. What do you call this? It's like a magnet or something. It's got like that. I don't oh, know what you would yeah, call that. yeah. Like, remember those like binders back in our day when we were in school, you know? Do you yeah, know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I do. It's not a it's not a hologram, but yeah, whatever they call this. <laughs> it's similar to that, and it's always been cool. It's pretty badass, so I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, still got the receipt, you know what I mean? Nice. And yeah, this one did come with the poster. And you know what? You showed off yours. I'm gonna show off this one. I gotta yeah, stand I up see real that. quick. Yeah. One minute later. Oh man, there's like a sticker on here. <laughs> Whatever. I'll Stickers just again, man. Stickers strike yeah, back. Yeah, this one came with a poster, and it's double-sided. It's Shaq. Both covers. It's kind of like this thing right here. It's pretty much that, but in a poster form. That's badass. Always nice to get a poster with your video game. That used, that used to be a thing back when I was growing up, when you'd buy a game for a regular Nintendo. Sometimes it would have a Nintendo poster in there with like advertisements of other games right. and it would show like screenshots on, you know, like CRT TVs of what the games look like, because there really was no other way to know unless you like had a subscription to Nintendo power because right. there was no internet yet. You know, like either, <laughs> either maybe you get to see a commercial on TV. That was it. You didn't know what games were coming out back then. <laughs> One minute later. So as you guys can see, I'm decked out in 2K19, you know, the cover that Steve hates and everything. And fun fact, you guys, if you're a big Suns Geek fan, you can actually go back into my channel. Some of my older videos, before I was really even Suns Geek, you know what I mean? I have a whole vlog unboxing this. So instead of me doing it right now, you guys can just go and watch that vlog. I'll probably even link it down yeah. below. But this is a special cover, Steve. Because as you can see, the 20th anniversary of NBA 2K. And honestly, man, I think that's why I bought this. It came with the shirt. It came with the freaking hat. Yeah. Stickers, all that fun stuff, man. I had to get it. Because again, we love 2K. It was the 20th anniversary. I had to go all out, man. I do remember getting stickers. And I remember getting like a uh, like a Livestrong band. I Do think you remember I had that? that somewhere. Yeah, I I probably forgot to grab it, but I have that too. Yeah, that was yep. cool. That was cool. I like that. That that I appreciate it because it was a 2K one. It didn't exactly. have like all the LeBron branding on it. I used to wear that to play basketball. I'd wear that. Also, um, I bought these at separate times because again, I was trying to build the collection. Don't ask me why I bought this. I bought a 2K19 keychain. <laughs> <laughs> Still, and it's. Uh, you know, whatever they call it, factory sealed or whatever, and it's got a little clearance sticker on it. I bought it for ninety-seven pennies. I would. It was I just sitting there. It was on the clearance rack. I got it, and then I think this came with like my shirt, just a little two K like tag. I thought that looked cool. That's I cool. Keep it, yeah. So before we wrap up two K nineteen, the twentieth anniversary of two K, uh, this was actually a gift. And Phoenix Suns fans, please forgive me for owning this. My brother bought me this, so shout out to my brother. This is like a action figure, collect collector's item, whatever you want to call it. 2K19, my team, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Look at that. It's beautiful, man. What I really liked is it wasn't just Giannis you could get. You could get a lot of other players. Who is that? Like James Harden, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook. The list goes on and on. I'm actually kind of glad I own this because it's kind of That's badass. So cool. Like it's like they don't make stuff like this anymore, and they really should. If they ever make a Devin Booker version of this, like you know we're gonna get it, man. I had to show it off. It's 2K. It's awesome. I'm glad I have it in my collection. I remember I think my brother got me that for Christmas, and I was like, dude, this is awesome, man. So, guys, Steve already showed off these three games, so we're just gonna kind of skim through this, but I am glad I own these. Yes, unfortunately, he's in a Lakers jersey, whatever, 2K20. And then I don't have the Steelbook versions of them, but I do have the best copy, or at least second best copy besides the Steelbook. Beautiful artwork right there. Had to get it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's that on the back. And then 
the beautiful cover, the 75th anniversary, bam, right there. And like, I don't know why I didn't get the steel book, man. Maybe it was a money thing. I don't know, but still I'm glad. Oh, yeah, you, that's you had to yeah. pre-order at Best Buy. Yeah. And you know what? I'll tell you what. It was a pain to get the steel books. It, Let me tell you. That's Always probably is. why I didn't end up getting them, you know. But still, I'm glad I own these. I feel like these are steel books, man. This the artwork alone is worth it. I mean, just these are beautiful, man. I'm glad I, I agree. Those yep. are some of the best box arts, if not the best that 2Ks came out with. Exactly. Hands down. All right, guys. So this is my last 2K. So last year I was had a little bit of a conundrum. I was going to be going out of town the weekend the 2K came out. So, of course, I wasn't going to be able to pick up the game physically because I literally had to go to the airport the day before, but I wanted to be able to play 2K that weekend, and I even brought my PS5 with me to Oregon so I could play my team over the weekend and make sure I got my, my ring in limited mode. So I ended up buying the game digitally. That way I don't have to worry about any of that. And what I ended up doing is buying 2K. And I had this game plan already. I was going to buy it down the road when I could get it for like a good deal physically because I was only buying it to keep it factory sealed. Beautiful. And that's the 2K23. You can see here, guys, that's the championship edition. I got to full screen you again, man. I got to do it. Oh yeah, do it. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. And again, guys, like I own 2K23 on PS5, but I was able to get the PS4 version on eBay. This sold out very quickly. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. in stores. And if you don't know, if you would have bought this, it comes with NBA League Pass on top of all the other bonuses, like the my team currency, the virtual currency, you know, different player cards. I don't remember everything it came with, but it comes with a lot of cool stuff, right? But again, it's factory sealed. Beautiful. That's why I bought it. I wanted to keep this for my collection because again, oh, yeah. this is like Michael Jordan. Yep. Memorabilia. Yep. And so I was pretty excited to pick this guy up right here. And I got it for a pretty good deal on eBay. I was able to pick it up, I think for around 50 some bucks. Right. And all the other listings were 109 to 150. So uh, I lucked out. That's a steal, man. That's so yeah. cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Um, you know me, man. I got a poster of it. I'm gonna full full screen myself real quick. Now I'm not gonna lie, I got this quote poster from a different source, but it's up there. 2K23. And uh, you know, I had to get the Devin Booker copy, man. I had to. Devin to. Booker was the cover athlete of 2K, bro. The, the Suns franchise player, some say arguably the best Phoenix Sun in Suns history. I had to get it, man. It's a beautiful cover. I remember talking about this all on my channel and making videos about it. Just absolutely yeah. Devin Booker, man. That's all I got to say about it's that. It's a lovely cover. When yep. it was first announced by 2K and I saw that, I'm like, dude, that is such a great Phoenix, like such a great Arizona desert backdrop. And I'll be honest with you, I'm still trying to find a factory sealed copy Same, yep. of the mm -hmm. Devin Booker 2K23. One edition. of us has to find it, bro. We got to somehow. Been, yeah, and it, it's been kind of hard to pin one down, even even using eBay, because mm -hmm. it's sold out the physical edition at the stores. Like they're not printing as many physical copies as they used to anymore. Yeah. So it's becoming harder to find. So that game's still on my list to find factory sealed because that will be a part of my son's memorabilia for sure. Absolutely. Because he's the only he's the only Phoenix Sun to ever make the cover yep. of an NBA game. Even yep. though Steve Nash won back to back MVPs. I know. <laughs> he never made the cover. Yep. Go figure. I remember too, Sham Sharnia of the Athletic. Yes, the guy that tweets out all the trades and all the news. He even tweeted that Devin Booker was going to be on the cover. And I remember just immediately making yeah. a video about that. I think you and I texted yep. each other. We're like, dude, this <laughs> so is awesome. Cool, man. Finally, a Phoenix right? Sun makes the cover. And I just remember there was like behind the scenes kind of leaks of like that photo shoot and Booker's 2K stuff. And I was like, this is just incredible, man. It's real. Booker is on a 2K cover. And whether you love him or hate him, man, like it. He made it, you know what I mean? That that's the some of the biggest, 
I don't even know how to describe it. Like that just goes to show how great of a player Devin Booker. It's an is. honor. It's yeah, an honor. It, that, for that's NBA the word I was players. looking for. Yeah, it's an honor. You know what and I mean? And he's a big gamer. Yeah, big gamer. Obviously, he plays a lot of Call of Duty, but he's a big 2K gamer. Exactly. So <laughs> this a lot to him, you know. Yep, absolutely, yes, man. Steve, um, I don't know if you have anything else. I'm looking around. I think I showed off everything at least I could find. Like I said, I was missing that little wristband you were talking about. Yeah. For some reason, I can't find 2K13. But I literally looked for a decent amount of time, and this is all my 2K stuff. I got the shirt, the hat, all that stuff we just showed. Yeah, man. What I mean, a collection. That's all, that's all yep. my physical 2K stuff. I I might have some Xbox 360 games somewhere, but yep. ain't going to go digging digging for those that's for sure that might take a while but i think i'm a little inspired now to keep building my 2k collection and i think eventually i want to get those Allen iverson cover ones and just any old 2k games i can get eventually it's going to take some time i gotta save a little bit of money you know what i mean but i think i'm going to do it man maybe maybe we'll do a part two of this in the future yeah i think that'd be fun to do a part two yeah because you know we have such a long running history with 2k this is the only sports game that i would actually want to buy all the editions of outside of of course nba jam yep exactly (laughs) all right guys we went through our collection it was an absolute blast this is going to be a long fun video i'm so excited for you but steve before we kind of do our outro here do you have like any fun stories or memories that you want to tell about 2k or just really anything any final thoughts man why don't you why don't you lay a story on us (laughs) <laughs> I do I do have one story that I will share. And of course, we all probably have many 2K stories, but this is one that's kind of stood the test of time over the years. And I was playing 2K on Xbox 360. And I believe this was back in 2007. Okay, so quite a long time ago. I was playing online. And I think it was like maybe one in the morning, right? Yeah, it was on a Friday or Saturday. I remember (laughs) that. And I got my headset on. And I'm playing with the Phoenix Suns. Of course. And we did not have a good rating in the game that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It might have been during the, maybe during the Terry Porter take over you're playing this 2k right but on a different console different system it was on 360 right right yeah yep. i was playing online and of course i was the phoenix suns yep my opponent was the lakers anytime anytime it's the lakers just being a lifelong suns fan it just it gives you an extra reason to to want to win to want to beat them to really focus and make sure you get that dub So long story short, the game was neck and neck the whole time. The game ended up going into triple overtime, (laughs) triple overtime. Yeah, I was like, dude, this is crazy. Like I was having so much fun. And of course, I had, you know, roommates at the time. And I'm not trying to get like super loud because it's so late. And I was just absolutely having a blast. (laughs) I have my headset on the whole time. My opponent does not talk. He finally unmutes himself. In the third overtime, when I'm about to win the game, and he says, "Hey, man," I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" He's like, "Hey, really nice game, bro." He's <laughs> like, "But I gotta ask you a favor," and I'm thinking, "Like what?" You know? And he's like, "Would you quit the game so I don't get a loss on my account?" I was like, "What? Why?" What? He's like, "I'm a 2K developer," and he said, "You're gonna get a special badge if you beat me." Ooh. Yeah. And he's like, if if this basically if I lose, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to deal with shit at work for the rest of the year. Let's remind people this was back in 2007. Yeah, let's just remind people of that. <laughs> and of course, when he's like, you know, yeah, I'm a 2K developer. I'm like, oh shit, dude, this That's is awesome, awesome because I did not play online much. Right. Like it was very very rare that I played online. Yeah, and so it was just cool. Because I always thought that I had skill and to see it translate, I'm like, oh shit, I just be I'm about to beat a developer. This is <laughs> this is extra bonus. Like the the bonus was just beating the Lakers in triple overtime. And then he revealed that he's a developer 
So of course I said, nah, no, I'm not going to quit. Right. I'm taking the win. Yep. And I got a special badge and it was really cool. So <laughs> that, that's my 2K story. Anytime you go triple overtime in an online game or any sort of overtime, it's going to be a lot of fun. But I did not expect that at the end. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's so awesome, man. Thank you for sharing that story. Yeah. Bro. That's so cool, man. <laughs> it was great. Good memory Good for yep. sure. Good Crazy time, to think man. that was, damn, 16 years ago. Time's flying, man. Sure does. Time is flying. <laughs> Steve, this has been an absolute blast, man. We definitely in the future, you know, maybe a few years from now when we keep building our collection and all that, we got to do a part two. But speaking of a part two, we're going to have a video later on covering a pretty important topic of 2K. So stay tuned for that. But Steve, you want to tell the people where to find you again. Tell, tell the people what you do on your channel. You've been uploading like crazy, man, and I'm so proud of you. Tell Thank the people you. what you do on your channel, where to find you again. And again, all of his links will be down below, but you you tell the people, man. Absolutely. So you guys can find me at ThunderSteve85Gaming on YouTube. You can find me everywhere else on social media at ThunderSteve85. So on my channel, I cover video games, guys. I have played video games truly my whole life. I first picked up a controller when I was three years old, so that would have been back in 1988. And I haven't stopped since. I have two real passions in my life. And that's basketball slash the Phoenix Suns, always have been, and video games. So, of course, naturally, I wanted to cover video games for a living. I'm finally doing it now at age 38. What you can find on my channel is the latest video game news, video game reviews from me. I actually play the game. I give you guys my first impressions and then I give you guys my review. I also have a playlist where we do all sorts of video game collecting, how to invest and buy video games that will hopefully hold or increase their value over the course of time. So I have all sorts of different videos. The channel is growing, guys. I'm trying new things as well. And I do live streaming. You guys can see me. Live stream NBA 2K24 very shortly. We're about a week out. I will be playing right at 9 p.m. when that game comes out the night before. Everybody, go subscribe right now. Go follow Thunder Steve 85. All the links are down below in the description. And you guys, you already know where to find me. Just search Suns Geek and you will find me. This has been a blast, Steve. So excited to edit this and everything. But yeah, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, stay tuned for a part two of our 2K video that we're going to do. It's going to be fun, man. I can't wait for that. So everybody crush that like button. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, guys.